Okay, so today I am got these new grips from my Beretta M9 and I got these gold screws to customize it. I got kind of a cold today going on, so my voice is a little messed up, but so I like the grips that are on here. They're fine. They're plastic. They're okay. The one thing I didn't like about them was when I first got them, I noticed it's like the plastic where they cut the grips out of didn't get sanded off all the way and it's kind of jagged and like you see how that kind of just like sticks out and looks a little dirty so that's why i kind of wanted to get some new grips and try them out see how they look see how they shoot and i also since i'm left-handed was going to change the magazine drop button over to this side for me so figured i would do two birds in one stone and do both of those at the same time so, first things first, obviously, do a safety check. There's nothing in there. So you're gonna want to get a torque bit to do this with, and it's not a very common size torque bit. I actually had to bust out my like little specialty bit set to find the right size. So you might need to go buy a bit set to get the right size. So I got that here so let's go ahead and take these off nice thing is the new screws for these grips come with its own little torque allen wrench so that'll be convenient so there's just two screws on each side of the grip once you get those off it should just pop right out from each side and there's little washers right there. I don't think these are rubber. These feel to be metal, but the new grip, new grip screws came with little rubber washers. So yeah, that just pops right off. Got the one side off. Let's get this side. And that just pops right off. And you be careful because those things are small. I didn't, actually didn't even know they were in there till I took it apart. This one's not wanting to come out, so give it a little assistance. And yeah, see, these are the old grips, obviously. And as you can see, yeah, they just, they didn't clean up their cuts from of the plastic when they took it out of the mold or however they did it. It just didn't get cleaned up. I mean, that's something you easily could do on your own with a file or even a razor blade, just cut away that excess material, and then it should look just fine. But yeah, there they are, those are the original grips. Okay, and these are gold-plated screws. Got them on Amazon for about $15. It's from the Cool Hand brand. These are Zib grips. Got these on Amazon for about $33 really like the look of the wood and they even have the Beretta emblem in brass on there. So it's really cool. Yeah, these are really nice that little checkered pattern that they scored into the wood it gives you nice grip on there so it won't slip in and out of your hand nice little beretta emblem there and these are the 24 karat screws okay so let's put these grips on Put the little rubber washer in there. Get the screw through the center of it. Oh wow, that looks good. And then just get it started. And then repeat with this one. Get the little rubber washer in there. Got the screw on there. Get 
Now we can tighten these down all the way. Just wouldn't over tighten them. I would say get them just hand tight like that. And then do like a little bit of a turn with the torque. Yeah, we'll call that good. All right, so that's that side. And there is your final product. I really liked how they turned out. Just wanted to get an up close look at them. Look at that. So you got the gold plated screws and then the brass Beretta emblem. And now I got the magazine drop on the correct side for my hand orientation. These grips are a little bit thicker than these, they feel, which could be a bad thing for some people, but if you're like me and you got big hands, that's no issue at all. In fact, it probably helps with the grip, so I actually really like that. Although some people I could see would not like having bigger grips. So it's been a few days since I filmed my grip installation video, and one thing that I've noticed about these grips is it makes it a little bit more difficult to press the magazine release button. It doesn't seem like it would, you know, make it impossible or anything. It's just, I noticed it's a little bit harder to push it now, now that those are on there because they're a little bit thicker. So one alternative I found is they do make longer magazine release buttons so you can install. So that's just something I wanted to add it in. But yeah, I really like how they look. They turn out great. I'll be taking them shooting soon to see how they perform and see if the magazine release button is really an issue. I don't think it personally will be, but I might consider getting a longer magazine release button in the future. But yeah, go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.